What's up people, um, I'm back with another requested tutorial um, and today's tutorial is how to turn an image to text um, so if you don't know what that is, this is what we're aiming for um, as you can see it's just text, um, different shades of text that create an image um, I'm going to be showing you a tip to drop a bit of shadow in there and bring out the features a bit more because it is hard to spot sometimes um, depending on what image you're working from so this is with the tip I'm going to be showing you um, the only thing about this is it, it does drop shadow in there um, so the image I just showed you, this is all made from text, um, which we'll be creating as well. But then I'll show you. A t so if if once you've created this image, it's kind of hard to see what it is. I'll be showing you how to drop a bit of shadow in there and just sort of bring it out a bit more to create this. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to be using the same picture um, that I used for that one. Um, so go ahead, and open up Photoshop. I've already got my picture open. Then hit um, Control O to open your image um, for those of you that don't know so right the first thing we're going to want to do is select our shadows and midtones and we're going to want to extract them because that's going to be the template um, for how our text fades in and out um, and I'll show you what I mean now so with our background layer selected head to select color range then hit this little drop down arrow and select shadows um, we're going to want to OK that and then control C or command C and then control J to paste it so control C to copy, control T, J to paste it into a new layer then head back to our background head to select again, color range and this time we're going to want to select our midtones um, and then OK that and exactly the same as last time, control C, control J or command if you're on a Mac um, and then that will give us the sort of basic template so if we mute our background layer, so our first layer this one here um, you can see the sort of template we're running from only we're going to need this to be black and white um, so the way we do that is on our layer 1 which was our shadows um, head, select that, head to edit fill and hit this little drop down arrow and make sure we got black selected then you're going to want to make sure your preserve transparency is checked and hit OK um, and that will turn the shadows black then on our layer 2, which was our midtones, again head to edit, fill, and this time we're going to be on 50% grey. Still making sure we've got preserved transparency selected, and then hit OK, I said that a bit weird. Um, and then that'll turn our midtones grey. So this is now the template we're going to be running from, so we're going to want to merge this all into one layer. So select layer 1 and hit Control or Command E, and then that'll merge it all down into one layer. Then we're going to need to create our text layers. Um, so if we create two more layers, down here and on the layer 3 we've just created select that and hit control and backspace or erase and then that will turn the whole layer white and we're going to leave that just sitting there until later so select layer 4 um, and this is going to be the layer that we actually paint our, te our text on and when I say paint our text we need to turn text into a paintbrush so I'm going to show you how to do that now so if you hit to file new um, and make sure the width and height is on around about a thousand. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's what I'm going with. So a thousand width for a thousand height. Hit OK. Um, then select our text tool and highlight the whole window. Um, so the whole window is going to be our text. Now you're going to have to find some text. Like if you want to type up a whole paragraph um, so that you know when you're looking at your image you can actually read for it it's completely up to you I just typed in paragraph on Google and I got some weird paragraph about dreams are like flowers it means nothing I don't like what how are dreams like flowers uh, well yeah but this is the paragraph I'm going to be using so remember that next time you get up and have a dream you're you've just made brain flowers that's what you're actually doing you're not dreaming you're making brain flowers um, so yeah, just <laughs> paste your text in. Uh, remember, the smaller you have the text, the more detail you're going to get in the image. Um, so I normally have mine on around about 8 input. And then you're just going to fill the whole screen. So if you're typing it, type up, fill the whole screen. If you're pasting, it's Control v and just keep pasting until you filled up the whole screen. Like so then hit this little arrow, um, and that will just concrete it. Now we're going to want to turn this into a brush. So head to Edit define brush preset and I'm just going to call it text brush and then hit OK um, so now I've created my text brush I can get rid of this get rid of this whole window so just hit that X now I don't want to save it and head back to this so with our layer 4 selected the one we've just created we're going to want to head to our brush tool 
Um, so head over to brush. Make sure you've got that selected. Make sure you're running the color black in your palette. Then head up to this little drop down arrow and scroll to the bottom and select the brush preset we just made. As you can see, I made one earlier um, for that the images you see, but this was the one I've just made. So I'm going to select that and that will bring it up in a paintbrush. I'm going to want to paint this over the whole screen, so I'm going to size my brush up with the square brackets. Um, the left one makes it smaller and the right one makes it bigger, or you can just hit this drop down arrow and select size up here. Um, but yeah. So I don't know why this is flashing like mad, it just is. And then I'm going to literally fill the whole screen. So I'm going to paint one there. Then I'm going to zoom out a bit. So, and then I'm just going to paint down here as well. Alright, so, so I filled up that whole layer 4 with text. Now if I zoom back in, fit screen. Um, we are now going to want to create a layer mask. So again, on our layer 4, hit this little icon here, which is layer mask. Um, and that will create our layer mask. Now we're going to want to mute layer 3 and layer 4. So we're just left with layer 2 visible. Select that, hit Control A, Control C. So that will select the whole screen and then copy it. Now make these two visible again. And on our layer 4, whilst holding Alt, click on this little white um, sort of background layer we got here. So you got the two, you got the text and the white. Hit Alt and make sure that you've selected this one um, and then hit Control V, Control D and Control I to invert it. So Control V to paste it, Control D to deselect and Control I to invert it. Um, and then once we click back on our text layer, so here, as you can see it would have wrapped the text around the figure. Um, so yeah, if you want to stick with black and white text, um, then, you know, that's that's you sort of kind of done, unless you want to drop some shadow in there. If it's not that easy to spot, I'll show you how to bring out a bit of shadow and make it, um, you know, bring out the features a bit. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do, I've always noticed, if we mute these two layers, um, well, if we mute layer 3, the text isn't actually over the original figure. So I just always like to make sure I've got layer 4 selected and just drag this back over, go away and drag this back over the original image um, so that they match up and then we can like you know bring back our layer 3 so hit the eyedrop on it but yeah so I'm gonna actually put a gradient overlay on this so with my layer 4 selected I'm gonna head to this little FX button drop that down and then head to gradient overlay um, hit the little drop down arrow on gradient and then select sort of any one of these if if you want to run with a gradient or if you want to keep it black and white don't worry about this part um, I am just going to select this one for now and I'm going to reverse it um, so the blue is on the face and then my blend mode is going to be screen then hit OK on that um, so yeah if your image looks alright and if you want it to be made just out of text you are done um, so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching but if it's a bit hard to to spot and you want to bring out some of the features um, I'll show you how to do that now so head to your paintbrush tool here um, you're going to want to select a normal round brush the brushes I've got on might look a bit different just just select a normal round one um, put the hardness on zero and then sort of size it up fairly big um, I'm going to use the square brackets to do that like this um, and yeah make sure we're running black in the paint palette and drop our opacity up here, opacity, sorry, to 30%, or around there. doesn't have to be exactly there. Play around with it, get it looking how you want. Um, there's two ways you can do it to bring out the features. If you just size the brush up to the face, or whatever it is you want to bring out, and then just click once, as you can see, it'll sort of start bringing it out. So any areas you want to make more obvious, you can literally just click on, and it will drop some shadow in there. Um, or you can do it the way that's probably going to get better results. It's just going to take longer size your brush up and just go through and paint over all the features so the hair um, the eyes nose and mouth or whatever it is whatever image you're working from so yeah you're probably gonna get better results doing it that way but it's gonna take a lot longer and there's not really much difference um, to be honest so I would just create a large paintbrush and then bring out the parts that I wanted to make a bit more obvious like that um, 
so yeah, and that is it. Play around with that, get that looking, you know, kind of how you you like it. Um, and then we're done. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, you know, if it did help, it'd be cool if you could leave a like. If you thought it was shit, then leave a dislike. Uh, you know, it's completely up to you. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Peace.